find research articles in English. Sorry, this is an English class. Okay. So, um, I want to not pause it, but I just want to go like this to kind of reset. Okay. So we're gonna go. Boom. Reset. Okay. I want to talk about the writing assignment. Okay. And I would love to cover your names, but I cannot, so it's impossible. I'm going to go through this. So last night, um, why I'm tired also today is because I did not sleep very much because I was grading 22 of your pre-writing. Okay? It didn't take very long, which is good. Um, but I saw the same issues. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm going <sighs> to... Any volunteers? <laughs> Any volunteers out there? No. Okay. I'm going to just choose mine that I have not done. Okay. I need you guys to do something I did not do. Okay. I don't know how you do searches, but I go to Google. Okay. And then if I'm doing something on this, uh, let's say I choose the overpopulation in big cities in Turkey. Okay, I'm not going to search in Turkish because if you do, it's not going to work, right? So don't type in Turkish. You can change the language somewhere. I'm just going to. Where do you change the language? Dang. Oh, no. I don't know. Then you don't know. Help me. How do we change the language? Nope. That's advertising. Anyways, let's just type something in English. Okay, so the causes of overpopulation. And let's say in Turkey. You don't have to, right? Um, not looking at pictures, okay. I think if you go all the way down, you should be able to change the language. Still can't. Help. Help. No. No. You can do search local. No. Help me. Oh, there it is. Okay. The, the wheel, of course. Change your language. Change your the English. Why not? Accept. Press OK. Don't cancel. OK. Just Google search, OK? Maybe you guys don't know. Don't search on anything that's an ad, OK? It, you know, somebody's paying you to look at this. So I don't consider that good research. We're looking for something I call a credible source, OK? What is credible? Okay, something able to be believed. It's convincing. It also comes from like a very big newspaper, something that people trust, you know, that this r paper is a journal. It's like scientists writing this. It's journalists that you can trust, okay? It doesn't come from like a government website. It doesn't come from a promotional video, like a... You know, it doesn't come from a business that's trying to sell you something. So, you know, talking about traveling, the effects of traveling. I think when you find something and it's from a travel agent, you know, of course they're going to say positive things. Okay. Can you believe them all the time? I'm going to say no. Okay. Um, so, yeah, what you want to find, you want to, I'm going to say, don't look at like, super super difficult research papers if you don't understand try to use google translate but see this this is like way too difficult right um what you want to find is maybe something from the news okay um and click a few things somebody click this prezi i know it's google okay but this is not like a primary source this is somebody making a presentation okay 
So really what's happening is where does this information come from? They don't tell you. Okay? And this is like somebody just gathered this. They made a presentation. Somehow Google made it better. You know? I don't like that. I wish... I don't I, I think Google. You know, anything from like something.com. This is Anadolu Agency. I don't know if I trust them. Let's find out. Anything that's ad is an advertisement, so don't click on that. You know, anything from the United Nations is going to be great, right? Quora, no. This is like one of those places where people ask questions. Anything with ResearchGate, no. Uh, you know, I'm not talking about refugees. CSB.gov. And yeah, can you trust actually anything that comes from the government? Sometimes. Sometimes not. Water scarcity, halting falling birth rates, situation of young people. Okay, so, you know, I think this one might be good. Talks about it. Look at the dates. Okay, is it relevant? Was it made 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Is that good? No. Okay. Um, maybe this one. Okay. This is from 2014, so it's a little old. Okay. And if you can't find a lot of things about in Turkey, then just go in general, right? Is Earth overpopulated? This is an ad. Okay. Don't trust advertisements. They're paying you to go to their website. Um, you know, a lot of these things are also what? Earth reminder. Okay. Somebody's got an agenda. Is it like biased news? You know, probably on this. You know, this is trying to get you to not listen to, you know, to reduce your carbon footprint, which is a good thing. But they're going to be very biased. They're not going to, like, give you the, the other end. That's good, right? So, yeah, there's lots of information, okay? Uh, and what we're also trying to look for is just numbers, you know. As per an estimate of UN, UNICEF, almost 150 million children are working as child labor in some countries. Great. I'm going to throw one of these in. Uh, anything in Turkish? No. I'm not going to allow it. Um, this is a huge PDF. Might be too difficult. So it is t difficult to do research. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Uh, another sor source you can use is Google Scholar. Google Scholar, which is more like very strong research-based things. You might not causes of overpopulation. So these are like very scientific. Um, if you use something like this, you might have to just really change the writing, you know, a site selection model proposal. You can find things by years, okay? So like since 2022, so everything would be really updated. Okay, this is called Google Scholar. Uh, you'll have to use this maybe in the future when you're doing research for your thesis or whatever you guys are planning to do. And they're difficult, you know, because research is difficult. And maybe we don't understand this fully. Maybe you can just do a quick Google, s you know, translate on this to see if this works for you. If it doesn't, close it, you know. Research takes time and it takes skill and it takes patience, okay. Karshika Izmir. This one's nice. Sustainable urban regeneration. Okay. There might be too much information. Okay. That's just one example. Um, and so, yeah, find these things. Find these articles. Uh, I'm going to show you what I want you to do, actually. So once you have this, it's always nice to press enter. Now it makes it a link. Okay, guys? And then you can press accept. So... For your teacher, helps me. I can click on this link. I don't have to like copy and paste it. Okay. What I forgot to ask you to do, and I have to do this now because I'm your teacher. I forgot to tell you. We should have done this. So it's not as important, but every paragraph, each body paragraph, I want you to have one quotation. It could be like this. Or it could be like this. You paraphrase, okay? If it's like a really long quote, 
try to rewrite it in your own way, way. It's called a paraphrasing. Okay. Um, and remember this scribber site, guys? I'm going to cough. <coughs> this is how we find these citations. Okay. So I'm going to make another reference. I think I might have done this already. Whoops. Whoops. We go to this thing. We go to the references. We press cite. Remember? We talked about this like three or four weeks ago. And then it gives us this like thing that we can use, right? <coughs> if you look at this article, you only just see Istanbul. You don't see a writer. This is like somebody in the newsroom wrote it. They don't have an author's name. It's fine. But sometimes we do get an author like we got last time. Mm. Where do I, I don't have it in here. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, this is called the reference. Okay, and what we want to do is use this. It's called the in-text citation. Okay, so if you paraphrase something, when you are writing, okay, and you, if you want to include this here, you can do that, right? But if you're writing, um, and you use information, this is when I need you to kind of put this. I am going to change my reference because I think this is stupid long to just Hurriyet Daily News. Okay. I think it's just stupid how long it is. And if you do that and you have your, your link, you know, in this pre-writing, I know where it comes from. It's fine. I'm just going to put this and make it good looking. Okay, so this is where it comes from, the daily news. We don't have to italicize it. It's not the name. 2022. So whenever I use information, when I get that quotation, right, um, I'm going to do this better for you guys. Let's say I use this. Okay. It's kind of long. These are all quotes. Let's say I use this quote. Okay. And I go down and I want to write this as an effect. Is that right? Experts. Oops. Sorry. Let's accept it express their concern as the number of s s people per square kilometers in province where reside have reached 3,900. Okay, so that's called the density. How many people live in a place? That doesn't give us a lot of information though, right? Uh, increase, the population increased by 3,000 compared to the previous year, reaching 15.8 million people. Experts express their concern as the number of people per square kilometer in the province where 18.7% of the country's population has reached 3,049. So 3,049 3, people live in a square kilometer. <coughs> That's a lot. How do we know? It doesn't tell us. <coughs> you might have to do extra research. Tell me what is normal. What is like where you live? Okay. When we use it directly, we have to use the quotation marks, okay? Right? Oops. And when we use it, we have to use that thing that I just did right here. It goes after the quotation marks, and then there's a period. That's one way to do it. I'm going to accept this change so it looks right. Experts express their concern as the number it has reached. So this is an effect, right? Something happened. The, the in po population has been increasing. Uh, it's reached 3,049 per square meter. Okay, It's not very good. So what I'm going to do instead of this, I want to rewrite this. Okay, I'm not, Who cares about experts? Um, Let's say per square kilometer, right? Uh, 
Let's see. Let's just say the place where, and I'm now, this is a, called a paraphrase, okay? This is my, this is my quotation, right? This is the paraphrase. The place where 18.71% of the population of, say, the Turkish population lives, resides is another word for lives, lives, has reached 3,000. 49, whoops, square, uh, as they have a number people per square kilometer, okay? So this is me just rewriting it. It makes it simpler to read, okay? Um, and even though I wrote it myself, I got this information from this website, right? So I still now have to put that thing, the... Huriya Daily News 2022, and then period. Okay? So whatever you do, you got to do it like that. Okay? This is called paraphrasing. Paraphrase. It means that you take the information, you rewrite it. Uh, you, you didn't write it yourself. I mean, you rewrote it, but you didn't write it originally, nor did you do this research. You got it from a secondary source called the Huriya Daily News, you know? You didn't get it from the scientists that looked at these numbers. So this is called a secondary source, not a primary source. And that's fine. I just don't want you to go like primary f all the way back to somebody making an essay. No essays. Okay? If you if it says essay in your research, <laughs> that's, that's kind of cheating. It's somebody else's work. Um, and they're not the originals, right? So... It's good to look at those, okay? It's good to get a model, like a good model for how you want to improve your writing. I'm going to blow my nose. All right, no boxing today. Okay. All right, here's the example. Okay, guys. Let me zoom it in so we can see it a little better. Experts express their concern. So I got this from this article, right, uh, which I linked up there. You know, you can practice here. I would love for you guys to do that. I should have designed this better, but I didn't. Um, a place. So you can see how you can change things. I don't need to say these experts, right? Um, and somewhere you're going to have to explain what is like a normal population density. This is what we call population density. I'm just going to put a note there. Oops. Let's do this whole thing. So if I'm helping you, then good. Okay, population density. And what is this thing? I forget what I have. I think I can record things for you now. Or I'll do that later. Moat. So quotation. A paraphrase. Okay. I think it's usually a better idea to paraphrase unless the quote's really small. Or you can just quote a small part of it. Okay. So let me show you another example where I quote something. Um, let's just say I want to quote this thing. Um, what would I say? I don't know, experts say. That... 18% of the population resides. No, see, that doesn't work. Eh, I don't think there's one I can use for this. Say that... The 
population of the province. It's tricky. I get it. So you're, you're trying to make a complete sentence. Uh, everything needs to fit, you know. This is what, this is hard writing, you know. Uh, has the, the population of the province, where, so you had where, 18.7 population has reached 3,499, right? You can put these quotations in the middle of something as well. Um, I believe you can leave the thing to the end. No, you, I think you have to put it in the middle. Then you put this thing. I know, you guys are like, this. what is this craziness? Um, it's the first time you're seeing it. It's the first time you're doing it. It's okay. Then you get used to it. Then you become a researcher. And then you're able to read things and figure out where information comes from. Then you start to ask yourself when you read something, where did this information come from? Okay. Then you start to have critical thinking skills. And then you start to question your world. And then you start to not listen to everything that is said on the news. You start to find information. It's not some confidential document that's a secret document hidden by the government. Okay. I'm tired of this world. <laughs> um, a population where it has reached has reached 349 people gives experts concern about natural disasters, let's say. Okay? So, and then maybe that leads into your next sentence. Okay, this is an example of a kind of a what do we call this? An in in sentence quotation. I forget. Intersential quotation. <laughs> okay. So that's what you're gonna have to do. Um, and if you don't do that right on the first paragraph, don't worry. I'm, I'll fix it for you. But what I want you to look at is the Scriber website. What I want you to be able to do is plug in your thing into this thing called references. Okay. Um, and when you click on that, you can add your website that you have. I'm going to do that again just to show you. Uh, right. And it's going to give us this information. And you don't have to, we're not going to do this reference page, okay? Maybe I'll just make one for you guys to show you later. Uh, we'll do more with the second task, uh, our argumentative essay. So these things I want you to know. I don't think you need to be perfect at them right now. Um, but I think I have a standard for writing, okay? I have a standard about, I have a policy about plagiarism, okay? If I do catch you with plagiarism, uh, I will give you a warning. I will talk to you. Uh, we will have an online meeting, if possible. Um, and then I'll let you rewrite it as a different topic. Okay? So then you have to do all the work over again. So it, I recommend for you uh, to do it right and do it well the first time, even if it is challenging. Okay? This is a good challenge to practice. Uh, it is a good ability to learn how to do these things on your own, to be confident and comfortable with them. And it takes practice. And you're not going to do this right the first time. And that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to take points away from not doing this right. But if you do not say that you got this from somewhere, somehow, you know, if you say, as mentioned in the newspaper, blah, 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 if you do that, great. You know, according to... Who do you get daily news? And then you put 2022. That's the same thing. That's called the paraphrase, right? So this thing can help us. So let me try this, okay? Um, if I take my paraphrased sentence and I go back to Scriber, if you type it in here and you press the paraphrase button, see, it'll make it for you. But why does it do that? Oh, because it's doing italicize. Stupid. So it made a quote for me. It paraphrased it. I don't want you to do it like this, but mm. let's see what happens when I put it back in here. 
See, it does this. This is called italicized things. Just erase those. That's some machine code. Why is it doing that? Okay. Why? Why was it? Not smart enough. Okay. Uh, what else did I see in your essay stuff? Uh, a lot of people kind of don't know the difference between the causes and effects. Okay. Um, and so sometimes this article that you're looking at doesn't talk about the causes. You have to think about those sometimes yourself, right? So we're talking about fast food. What are the causes? The causes are not diabetes. Uh, the causes, somebody said stress. Is that the right one? No, traveling. Which I, I'll take that. I, I get that. You know, if you're stressed, you want to go leave and, you know, travel, right? And then the effects might be something like it reduces your stress, right? But what causes people to travel, um, you know, and those could be simple reasons. Your book's not going to tell you. You can use common sense sometimes, right, to go visit a loved one, to attend a funeral, to watch a basketball game, to go to the doctors. I don't know. You know, there's so many reasons why people would travel, um, you know, for business trips, things like that, right? And then other things for to explore the world. Curiosity, somebody put. I like that. You know, and I know you're not writing about the causes, but why am I doing this? So you can start to understand how these causes and effects sentences work. Um, I think because the logic of it sometimes is difficult, especially when your understanding of the grammar isn't so great, right? So we have to think about how to write causes and effects. You have to look at it. You Maybe you have to Google translate it yourself and see, does it make sense in Turkish for you? And then go back and look at the English, you know? Have somebody read it. Figure out which one is the cause and effect. Uh, the thesis statements that you guys write here should be about your topic. Okay, I noticed that a lot of people just copied and pasted thesis statements from somewhere, and they didn't match what you're supposed to write about. Okay, so make sure <laughs> your thesis statement is either about the effects of playing games, the effects of travel, and on people's lives, the effects, oh, sorry, the causes of the popularity of fast food and the causes of the, of the overpopulation in big cities in Turkey. Okay, you should be writing one or, sorry, not one or two, two. I'm only making it two. I could make you do three. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I think we should do more with less. Um, and yeah, the essay will be, what, 200? <laughs> Don't write 200 words, okay? To 500 words. I think that should be plenty. Um, and what you need to work on, really, is, you know, your introduction, how you can make a hook, how you can make it interesting, how you do this funnel thing, right? From general to specific. The most specific thing you're going to be looking at is your thesis statement. That's the most specific part of your introduction, you know, overpopulation is a problem all over the world, okay? Especially in Turkey, in cities like Istanbul, blah, 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 getting narrower, right? Uh, in parts of the most crowded parts of the city, uh, you know, the population density is getting to 3,050 people. Hurry at daily news, okay? Some of the causes of this overpopulation are one and two, okay? You need two things. Okay, and I, I don't want you to do that several causes, okay? That doesn't, I don't know. Just be specific, right? List your causes. You can do the dot, the colon, you know, dot, dot, uh, and then list it, you know. The following things are the causes, dot, dot, the colon, and then write one and two, whatever those one and two things are, right? When we're talking about the causes of fast food, you know, Lots of you guys I know write the same thing. It's okay, I get it. Um, but yeah, the, the price and the convenience, okay? And you, when you make a list, it's got to be the same part of speech, okay? So you can't mix like a noun and an adjective. You can't mix like a, a gerund with other things. You got to keep it consistent. Remember this thing called unity? Uh, those parts of speech and the list have to be the same. So if everything's a noun, keep it a noun. If everything's an adjective, keep it an adjective. Okay. Yeah. 
So like uh, I think somebody mentioned da, 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 the causes of fast food, and they said the price and the fast, and and fast. Okay, so fast is an adjective. Okay, so what's the noun form? Or another word that you can think of. So I would say speed. I would even just say convenience, right? That's like a better word to talk about how something is fast and easy, right? Why is it fast? Well, because you can sit in your car sometimes, like in America. Why is it easy? Uh, why is it convenient? Because it's everywhere. You can drive anywhere. You can find fast food, you know? It's convenient because it's quick, too. You, don't, you can just do it quickly. So I think a better word than fast or speed is better, uh, is convenience, okay? And that kind of sums it all together. But price, somebody mentioned, and somebody mentioned that fast food in Turkey is not ex not cheap. I would say something like McDonald's is not, but there's other places that I consider fast food, like any doner or like cheap, d you know, durum places that make wraps. Toast, toast is, <laughs> that's probably the thing everybody eats here that's not really good for you but cheap and convenient right so don't think about mcdonald's or anything in your context think about other things and i think that's it okay so yeah work on this okay um i should have should have made you make this and then add one of these things. What is the paraphrase? What is the the reference? Use Scribber, okay? So Scribber's right there in this chat. Uh, try it out. Take your link, add it into Scribber, into the citation generator right here. Press this reference thing. Type in or paste in your your website's name and then go ahead press site okay and then you can see all the ones that you've done in the past great um i think that's it i think i'm feeling better gotta take a nap uh i gotta post these videos for you i gotta make the task b assignment what do you need to be doing uh you need to read you need to watch stuff you just need to read uh, read some articles read some you know if you look at essays that somebody wrote about it well look at it okay don't copy it use it for ideas if you've never written an essay cause and effect essay well of course you need to learn how to write it and the best way is to look at others good work but not to copy them okay to write it in your own way to learn something from them to borrow to st not to steal to borrow uh to imitate imitation is the greatest form of flattery that means that if you copy somebody you're like kind of showing that hey that person's cool right or that person knows what they're talking about so that's it i'm tired Thank you for listening. Thank you for coming today. Uh, we shaved off one hour from our normal times. Okay, so I think beginning every day. Let's start at 10 o'clock. Um, I might have some travel coming up. I need to do some medical stuff, uh, dental things. So there might be a day or two I have to change the schedule again. So I'll let you know on Google Classroom. Okay. If you have any questions, okay, make sure you go to this Padlet. Uh, throw in your questions into the Padlet. Ask me. You can ask on Google Classrooms in the comments. Lots of students have been doing that, and I really appreciate that. Okay, I like the kind of dialogue. Um, if you're afraid to ask questions, ask yourself why you're afraid. Um, and some of you need to work on your grammar, your writing skills. Um, you need to look back at your old lessons, think about what a, where a subject goes, um, how to use conjunctions. Okay, I can help you with that, but um, I think you're supposed to have learned that last semester, depending on how well you did this class, that class. So uh, we all have a lot of things to work on. Um, you know, 
I think teaching this is as difficult for me as it is for you to learn. Okay, uh, I've been having a really hard time organizing all of this information because there's a lot of information. I get it. Okay, so if you're confused, think about how confused I am trying to put this all together for you. I'm trying my best, uh, and hopefully, I'll get better. We'll get better, and. Um, so if you like this class so far, great. Um, we're almost to the end. We're at the hump. We're going to go down from here. We're going to coast, okay? But don't put the cruise control on too hard. I want you to really learn. You have an opportunity to learn with me. Uh, and that means that, you know, I will help you. <laughs> um, and you do your work. And then once again, I'm going to say the assignments that I give you are not worth points for your grade, but every assignment you do will make your grade better. How? While well, you're practicing, okay? Um, I can't, I wish I could give you points for these assignments so that every assignment you did helped you with your essay, but I unfortunately cannot. You need to come to class, uh, you need to watch the videos, you need to do the assignments to help you remember what you taught, learned. Um, you need to watch the entire videos and I appreciate everybody I appreciate you out there who do watch the videos so thank you thank you for your efforts thank you for showing up thank you for fighting surviving lasting living long um, learning something teaching other people <sighs> I'm gonna make a podcast someday okay so if you don't have any questions uh I am out of here. I always have to show the rest of my slides. I don't. Oh, there's the conclusion. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and I will see you on Thursday.